What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about the Halloween franchise in general and Jamie Lee Curtis's recent comments on who she would like to be involved in a reboot down the road, which you know inevitably will come. Uh, we'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Chucky Season 3, which is still not confirmed, but something indicating that it has been and what that might mean and then rounding it out by talking about joker 2 aka jo well actually joker folly i'll do aka joker 2 and the first look that was released online just to get off with halloween jamie lee curtis has recently expressed interest in seeing neff campbell appearing in the halloween ruby reboot down the line now this was on a variety interview i think and my thoughts on this is if it happens it could be done or it would need to be done rather in the very near future and when i say near future i'm talking five to six seven years from now if it happens sooner than it just happens sooner i just ideally think it would need to be sooner rather than later uh nev can easily be cast as someone's mother in haddonfield but i wouldn't make her the main character with an idea like that also just to touch on jamie's comments really quick it seemed like she was make mostly trying to throw slight jabs at the negative results of why nev isn't participating in scream 6 which is fine if she's supporting nev campbell that's fine all of us are supporting nev campbell and her ability to walk and find her what she feels is her worth elsewhere that's nothing nothing wrong with that uh, however if she were to entertain being in a halloween movie i'm thinking about something better just spitballing here about her being involved in a movie that's set entirely in smith's grove it could be set many years after Michael killed Judith. He, of course, is in his adult years. It could be set in the early 2000s or so. There's nothing else that's happened other than he still kills Judith in the opening. Now, Nev is starring as a worker at the sanitarium, in my idea, who is revealed to be the daughter of Dr. Loomis. Now, in this timeline of mine, Loomis would have died after letting his health decline due to his obsession with trying to understand Michael. A mishap occurs at the sanitarium and all of the patients are released, including Michael, who goes on a murderous rampage with Loomis's daughter pursuing him as she sees this as an opportunity to get revenge for the death of her father that she blames on Michael Myers. That's one way I could see her being factored in and becoming the main character of a reboot. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section. Just to talk about Scream 6, Scream 6 is three months away and we still do not have a trailer. Now, since the original trailer date has been revealed as December 20th, I'm still under the impression that it was pushed up due to the leaker and other factors like fan interest. Also, things that I've been told, I'm not going to share the specific dates, but my expectation is that, yes, it will release this week. If it doesn't, then I don't know when it is coming. However, reasons pointing to this week are Scream 2 turns 25 tomorrow, Avatar releases this week, and Jack Champion, who is starring in Scream 6, probably as a Blackmore student, is in this Avatar movie. Babylon is also releasing later this month. That's what they're calling Paramount's Oscar bait, which is also a very good movie. I will add that because I've already seen it. All eyes are on this week for the Scream 6 trailer. Also, a new image of Campbell has surfaced online, but it's more like a six-year-old interview for House, for House of Cards. Point being, the image has people thinking that they may have used real footage of Nev to insert her into Scream 6 in some capacity. It's like an interview that she could be having on Gail's morning show. Now, if that is the case, that's very smart on their end. I'm not showing the image here because it could legitimately be from Scream 6. The image does suggest that Sydney has written a new book as well. So if that's how she appears, then that's a great way to briefly include her in the movie. That's just my honest opinion on that. Because if you can't have Nev Campbell physically available to come to the set because she does not want to participate, at least this shows you and it should shut up idiots online that they really genuinely wanted Sydney to be in the movie given that maybe not necessarily they wanted her to be in a creative lit, but because she was denied the opportunity they still want to put her in it in some capacity to show that they are in support of her they were they respect her and the door is always open for her to return to the franchise under the correct circumstances uh, and I think it's a nice way to bridge into a narrative I would love to see play out in Scream 7 where they talk about exploitation and people exploiting these tragedies and tying up loose ends targeting all the survivors to put it into it once and for all but I will die down on that and jump into Chucky Season 3 Chucky Season 3 again hasn't been officially announced but an editorial over on Rotten Tomatoes has it listed as renewed I wouldn't look too far into this other than finding out how Whitney, who I believe is the name of the editorial writer, gathered the knowledge of Chucky being renewed. Chucky is renewed to me when USA or Sci-Fi or Don or someone else involved at Universal directly with the show says that it's confirmed or that it's renewed. However, if anyone knows how this editorial got or this person behind the editorial gathered that information, please inform me because if there are valid receipts, then it doesn't matter if they haven't announced it officially. If the receipts are enough to back it up, then it's just coming. It's a matter of waiting for them to announce it. 
because I remember when I was doing my Jeepers Creepers 4 coverage, I definitely was going out of my way to find things that were online, had to look in the right places, and I was bringing you guys news before it was even officially announced. And then months later, the news that I was bringing you, they were not really leaks. They were just available online and I knew where to look. And then the studios were announcing them several months later. So I also was just very good at finding the working title for things and stuff like that. So if this individual has actual receipts of why Chucky season three is confirmed, please send them my way. Uh, I would think that Don Mancini has a lot of this written already that I could be wrong in that assumption. I would think he has some of it at least written, if not a lot of it, because of his talking in these interviews, especially referencing where Tiffany could be going in season three. Seems like they already he already knows where he wants to go and could hopefully already have it written out because with this late renewal, I think that would put it in jeopardy of not being able to hit that fall release like we've been having for the past two years. But season three will come when it comes. If it doesn't come, then it just doesn't come. He's already made it clear. He has no problem, I guess, jumping back into the movies if that's what it comes to. Um, if season three of Chucky is allowed to happen, what would you like to see from everyone's favorite killer doll? Well, of course, until Megan debuts, just a, just a slight joke about Megan, because I can't wait for that movie. Just to round out this video again by talking about Joker Fale Aldu, which apparently has started filming according to this new first look shared by Todd Phillips over on Instagram, I believe is where it originally originated. The image is showing Joaquin Phoenix on set as Arthur, aka Joker, and what I clearly see to be him shaving for the role or someone shaving him for the role joker 2 is again starring phoenix alongside lady gaga as harley quinn and the film is telling a majority of its narrative inside arkham asylum seems to be dabbling in the mad love narrative harley quinn will be trying to help arthur escape as she is corrupted over time by falling in love with the individual now this isn't the most exciting first look but definitely when we get our first look at lady gaga's iteration of harley quinn compared to margot robbie's that is definitely going to be something I can say will break the internet. I can see that breaking the internet, going viral, and being the talk of the town when we get that first look at Lady Gaga, especially next to Joaquin Phoenix, seeing them together. That first look is definitely going to be an iconic first look, much better than this. <laughs> but it's nice to know that they are filming, and hopefully everything goes fine while they are filming, because I cannot wait to see Joker 2. I cannot wait to see how the musical aspect is intertwined into the narrative. It seems like it's going to be mostly from the perspective of Harley Quinn when that music it comes into play so hopefully that is a good sign about how this music is utilized when the movie plays out but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video